Okay, well, welcome to Let's Talk Tech. I'm Thomas. I'm Alan. And, uh, Hi. yeah, hello. And this is our first, very first episode ever made of Let's Talk Tech, the only show in Wallingford ho uh, hosted by the WPA Cable 18 that will bring you your technology news. Hello, welcome back. To our show. show. Let's Talk Tech. Yep. Uh, this segment we're going to be talking about Windows 7. We're talking about more how it's progressed from Windows Vista to Windows 7 and Windows, well, Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7. Um, most people uh, thought Windows XP was a pretty good operating system. It wasn't it, bad. It, it, was, yeah. it was a little bit, a little bit confusing for me to first learn it. Uh, but I, you know, for most people to yeah. just learn, it was a little. It was a little It, it, was, a it was a difference, yeah. but it was it was yeah, definitely it was, it was worth it. I mean, it was yeah. it's a good operating system. But then Windows Vista came out, and Windows Vista was a whole new story. I actually think Windows Vista was more confusing to me than anything else, and I don't. Uh, you can't exactly know why, but I I use it, and I'm just a little bit confused on how it works. It it, it really was a terrible operating system. It, yeah, they, the, security they, was, the security was worse than The security was horrible. Yeah. The security was just terrible. And then they made everything more confusing than they had to. They, yeah. To make, to like convert stuff, it, it yeah, was just horrible. No, yeah, it was pretty It was bad. just horrible. They added programs which were useful, and those programs dragged on to Windows 7, which is what we're talking about. Now, Windows 7 is a is an like we said a Windows se Windows 7 operating system and yeah Windows 7 operating system made by Windows Microsoft Windows but it is much better than Vista and it is available for a trial version on I don't know go to Google search Windows RC7 and you can download it for free and it lasts till like March and then your computer starts getting kind of screwy yeah it'll actually start deleting files yeah. it won't like it's a trial stuff. version so. so it's just you know it slowly goes. Yeah. Slowly kicks the bucket. But slowly goes where no yeah. man has gone before. Yeah. What? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the whole thing was, with, even with the control panel, how it changed. I really didn't like that feature where it changed 2000, how everything was, it was all spread out where you could just go into the control panel, it's all there. Windows XP, you could choose the new version or the old version. Of course, I like the new version. Yeah. No, and the then, old version, you mean. Uh, the old version. The new version where it put it all into folders, it just made it so much more confusing. Yeah, we where didn't know where anything was. We're so used to yeah, it, old stuff. Not yeah. everybody was because that's what they used. And then they'd go in and they couldn't find anything. They just made it more confusing. And then with Vista, they stopped the feature completely, switching to the old version. They made it just the new version. Yeah, I don't like that. And then same thing with Windows yeah. 7. It's, yeah, it's, they, they, it, things are much more, like, as far as folders go, uh, Windows Vista had stuff a little more organized, and in Windows 7, it's even more organized, and I do like that. I do like the organization. One thing about the folders I like is the download folder. Now, yeah, when you download, download from, it yeah. doesn't matter what web browser, you can download it from Firefox, you can download it from Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer. Uh, it doesn't matter. It just dumps all into yeah, one folder called Downloads. There's a folder called Downloads, and it, dump, and it goes into the Download folder, which I like because before, Everything when you had it set up a ri when you had the default set up for uh, like Firefox or Internet Explorer, it just download to your desktop, and it's like oh, I'll go to your desktop. Then I had to create a folder on my desktop called Downloads, and I'd have to drag it in there. And it's like I don't want to do. It. I just want it to go to the folder automatically, and then I had to configure it and everything. This one does it automatically for you, and it's much nicer. Also, the whole like I was talking about the organization. If you work with uh, a Linux based program operating system, you know how the organization of the folders is. It's the same, almost the same exact configuration. Yeah, you can you can go into my documents or something yeah, and it has everything to the side, actually, everything to the left. Actually, you go into a thing called libraries. Before you go into your documents and in your documents folder it would have my documents, my pictures, my videos. No, now you go into something called my library or just libraries. Yeah. And it and that has your my pictures and that, so this has way you don't have right to go there. into your documents folder. Yeah. So it has it all individual, which is nice. So um, that's that, I I definitely like that feature a lot because now I know now Linux is and Windows are starting to get a little more similar. Um, but also what else, what else is there? The uh, it's and... it's definitely much more like Linux, where it's more open source, where you can actually change the bars. Yeah, true. You can charge. You can change the top bar of your screen before you had to buy 
or even get a trial version of a program to do it for you for XP and Vista. And for 2000, you couldn't do it. So with Windows XP, uh, Windows uh, 7, you can actually go to the top at the bar at the top and change the color of it and change your the texture and whatever. And at the bottom, your taskbar, you can actually do the same thing. Yeah. You can have it like it's a different at, color. There, uh, in Windows XP, there's a like you're saying, there's a blue bar at the very top of the screen, and at the very the start menu right there. Okay, and usually it was gray. It was gray in Windows 2000. XP it was blue or green. In you can Vista, change it's green. In, you can change it in the themes, yeah. but. Um, but or that was that's what it was the default setting. But now you could change color and you could change the transparency of it. You could do some cool things with it, yeah. and that's very useful. Now, well, not useful, but it, it looks cool. Yeah, of course. <laughs> um, another thing is in your start menu, similar to Windows Vista. When you go into your start menu, there's no longer the thing in Windows uh, XP or 2000 or where Vista. what or Vista. No, Vista has it. Mm. Where you click on. You click on the folder and it drops down instead of you just going into a folder over there. So that's kind of, I really don't like that that much. It's, I guess it's okay. But that's, a, that's a, I guess, an interesting feature if, or a useful feature if you want to, if you do something like that. Um, and, and a lot new, a lot more programs is going to be coming out for this. I mean, oh, yeah. like we said, this is just a trial version of it. And it's not, not even anything close to what we we'll know when the actual version comes up. Yeah, when the, uh, yeah, the trial version and the actual version. I have, the trial version is actually Windows Vista Ultimate, but it is also, um, but it's all, since it's a trial, it doesn't have everything to it. Doesn't have all the programs. Yeah, it doesn't have all the programs, all the security features. All the settings. Yeah, so there's probably gonna be either a little bit more security or a little bit more settings. They might tweak stuff a little bit. They've been getting um, opinions from other people, how do they tweak stuff, and it's, it's coming out When's it coming out? October? October. October? 22nd. Yeah, it's coming out October 22nd, 2009. So we're looking forward to that. Yeah. And um, uh, it's the, supposed to be like $200 for oh, it. Oh, yeah. We actually at, looked at, out into it. Yeah. It's at the first, when yeah. the first it comes out, it's, about, it's supposed yeah, to be $200. It's the, I think it was the home edition was 200 Yeah. Yeah, it's, pre it's pretty bad priced, but, you know. Um, what is annoying about the Windows 7 operating system is that similar to Linux programs, when you download something or try and make a mess up with the setting, it will come up with a, like a pop-up thing. It will say, are you sure you want to do this? It does the same thing in Windows. It's going to say... It literally locks your screen. Yeah, you it will lock your screen. You can't do anything unless screen. you hit no. run or deny. Yeah, no. unless you press start menu. Then it goes yeah. back. Okay. Um, uh, but yeah, it's going to lock your screen up. And it's going to say, do you, are you sure you want to me uh, let this program mess with your computer? That's usually only if you install it or if you are running a program that is going to be like changing your computer settings. So that's kind of annoying because you have to say yes to that or no to that. And if you have a really slow computer, it's going to take a while for that to come up and you're not going to know what's happening. So yeah, your, your, computer is going, your computer screen is going to like blink and it's going to dim and then it's going to come up with an option. Do you want to let this mess with your computer? Well, so that is kind of annoying. Well, of course, uh, the newer the operating system gets, the more RAM it's going to take. I mean, yeah. that's kind of obvious. I mean, Windows XP needs less RAM, 512 megabytes or so. Uh, Windows Vista well, Windows needs, Vista needs, needs like a, gig. a 1 gigahertz processor. And uh, I believe it was at least like 250, it was 256. RAM? Yeah, at least, minimum. I, you should run about a gig to run, I'm run Vista. I don't know, I'm running 512. Yeah, so maybe, to run yeah maybe it's a minimum of 512. Yeah, but with Windows 7, it's a minimum of 5.12. Yeah. And, uh, the, and uh, the security settings actually are much better on uh, Windows 7 than Vista. They're definitely much better. And when you go in and something tries to like almost like destroy your computer like a virus, yeah. it'll actually like reset your whole settings and it'll well, come up yeah, and say resetting Windows. Yeah, similar to that, something similar to that is that if your computer shuts down or if a program can't start, it is going to tell you, it's going to give you an error, and it's going to be like, oh, well, you know. Um, it's going to give you an error and everything, and it's going to say, well, Windows has a problem. It's going to try and reconfigure the problem. And it's probably going to give you, it's probably going to give you an error, and it's going to say, well, we can't figure it out what it is, but they're going to try and figure it out for you if they can. If Windows can try and figure it out for you, the operating system will reconfigure itself and try and say, oh, well,